Cheerio, bonjour. So I'm going to react to another reaction video. I only watched about the first 90 seconds, well, maybe two and a half minutes, and I was so put off by what this man was saying, I just hit stop and saved it. So for all I know, this could be a five minute video or it could be an hour, we'll see. I have no idea who this dude is. Zawaki, hook us up and go hit subscribe to him so that he doesn't copyright this. But I don't think he actually can copyright it since he's reacting. Maybe I should just find out the video he's reacting to. To the Chris Watts, well actually the Chris Watts murders, but the involvement of Nicole Kissin. Okay, they're not the Chris Watts murders. He's still alive, but okay. My opinion, NK had absolutely nothing to do with this. Now, when I was 32, I happened to be very happily married. But I think, but I had peers who were not married. And all they wanted was to be married. I mean, at, at 32, I had already had a child. And I had friends who also wanted children. And so often, <laughs> oh my goodness, please don't hate me for this. But women are dumb. And we believe what we want to believe. I mean, there are actually people out there who will go get the next booster shot. Okay. Now, with that being said, we have been watching a lot of stuff, not rec or just recently, about the hauntings that possibly are taking place inside the home, which a lot of stuff has arised and come up. Uh okay, he's already making me mad. I will tell you, though, that I fully believe in ghost Shortly after college, I lived on a farm out in Virginia in Civil War country, and I had something scare me a few times so much that I ended up naming my fear George. If you watch me all the time, I've said this before, and if you roll your eyes, well, A, I won't see it, <laughs> but B, it's okay. We all believe what we want, but I was... I lived in an A-frame house, and we had the whole entire bottom of the house. It was pretty much just one gigantic room with a bathroom. You know, my closet was off to the side. And I was talking to myself, and I said, should I wear the green dress or the pink dress? And I went and I took a shower, and when I came out, the green dress was pushed out a bit. So if you, you know, you tilt your hanger a little bit, the green, and I had not touched either dress. Call me crazy, it's okay, but I fully believe in the supernatural. Through the years, um, since the, the murders back in 2018. Now, a lot of people, like myself, think that Nicole is, was more part in than what we believed. Now with- Okay, well not a lot of people, I do not, and the DA, drawing a blank on the county in Colorado, they thoroughly researched her. They never granted her immunity. All, her, all of her testimony, they never first said, we will grant you immunity. They did everything they could to bust whomever killed these three women. And had NK had something to do with it, there was no reason to grant her immunity. I do not believe that they did and they thoroughly investigated her. All this information, oh, there was... Uh, this may be a two-parter. Uh, her interview apparently was like four hours long that recently sur surfaced not too long ago, roughly just short of a year ago, and I just right. recently started watching it. And holy crap, there's tons to watch of why Nicole was involved more than we believe. Wouldn't it be funny if this dude actually changed my opinion? But before we go any further... Okay, he's going to bring up the phone evidence, and... Oh my goodness, I should have done research. What is the DA's name? I, I, I don't even remember the county, but 
they looked this up and they said we made an error in our reporting. What you guys do is remember Darley Rotier? Oh, I need to shut up, don't I? Darley Rotier. There were over thirty-five thousand errors in that court transcript. Subscribe to more content when it comes to channels. We'll keep go away. Oh, go and subscribe more. to this make sure dude. Make sure you're subscribing by hitting that white bar icon. Hit the bell icon next to it so when I do post videos like this one, okay. you'll get a notification when I posted that video. Because I love misinformation. Just can watch, comment, like, and share. It's almost like watching MSNBC. Oh my goodness, I should be quiet or this guy will copyright my video. The reason why I continuously want to find out about the Chris Watts murders is one, it pisses me off that this guy is still alive. Um, why? He murdered his two daughters, Bella and Cece. Be my only anger for Chris is that he murdered the children. I'm shocked it took him eight years to murder Shannon. And I'm serious. She was literally, you can't say the R-A-P-I-N-G word, but that's exactly what she was doing to that family financially. She earned nothing the previous two years. For little girls. And she insisted on them having a $3,000, no, $3,100 mortgage payment, including your HOA. Now, they chose to ignore the HOA, and they were also being sued for that. But your HOA is part of your mortgage. Rudolph, please be quiet. His wife, which she was very beautiful, I think, honest. She was okay, pretty. She had no lips. It, she was more beautiful than Nicole. Oh, I disagree. Um, it's a mother thing. I don't know what it is. But with that being said. This dude is not a mother. Part of the reason I think NK was more attractive is her character. So... Shannon was a liar. All she did was turn her little phone on and lie, lie, lie. Well, to me, that makes you ugly. Makes your, your teeth fangs grow long and you grow a beard. There's no point in lying. He took the lives of them because he wanted to start a new life with Nicole, which apparently Nicole has mentioned that she did not know about Shannon or Shannon. Or she knew about Shannon, but Chris stated that his marriage was over. It was done, it's over with, but little did Nicole know, it was far from over. But then there's the other... Okay, Chris wanted a new life because he was the only one making money. His wife was going online and lying about making money. Oh, you know, that chick who makes the videos about me, I hope she sees this. I'll enjoy watching this one. ...side that a lot of people believe that Nicole Kissin or... Kessin or Singer? Kessinger. Kessin, singer? I don't even know how to pronounce it, her last name. Learn how to pronounce her name first, you dummy. Kessinger. Kessinger. There we go. Right. Thank you. She knew about the entire time because apparently there was texts and messages back and forth between Chris and Nicole. That's okay, that is also not true. That was something else. Oh, D.A. Rourke. That was his name, Rourke. He had came out later and admitted the transcripts were incorrect. NK never Googled Shannon. Did, did you sell the ring or pawn the ring? Why would she know that? What? If Nicole or if Shannon was still alive. Because he had just spent six and a half weeks bad mouthing his wife to NK. And her, of course, her response is, Did you sell the ring? This dude is obviously an idiot. His hand is down here let's see if he has a ring on my guess is he does not have a ring on his finger and with all that electronic and the video game stuff there in the back i mean that looks like thor out there um my guess is this dude is single um or you can no can't ring be together if shanann is still alive or i don't want kids is what she mentioned that's oh, why he didn't. killed his daughters this Pisses me off again because nice I word. myself am a father of three, two beautiful daughters and one son. Okay, my bad. He's a father of three. Maybe he has not made the commitment, but maybe he also does not wear a wedding ring. So I do apologize. And this may be a three-parter. I could never see myself doing this. But this channel called Annie... Well, it's because you couldn't find anyone to do it with. Elsie... Uh, times 10 to life 
breaks it down of this interrogation that they do with Nicole and all the red flags, and I want to watch it with you guys. So with that being said, um, again, this is not being disrespectful to uh, Shanann and her family, um, the ones that have been grieving since... No one has been disrespectful for Shanann and her family. I haven't been disrespectful. Calling out reality and the truth is not being disrespectful. It's simply calling out reality. It's really funny how the truth never started offending people. And you know what? I'll, I'll stop because I'm going to get political. Death. This is for educational purposes. But the best way to get rid of a candidate is to have him arrested. And also, we want to get down to what I don't think Chris was by himself. I do. In these murders. I think he had help. And I think the videotape proves it. Nicole, he just is trying to save her from damnation into prison life. Um, okay, within reason, that is true. When Graham asked Chris, you know, who is she? Or, and he's, Chris right away said, I don't want to tell you her name. He may not have said those exact words, but I do not want to bring her into this. The reason Chris did not want to bring Nikki into this was because she had nothing to do with it. I think Chris could have spent that five or those five weeks without his uh, his pee pee getting warm and he would have realized reality. He would have said, hey, I do everything around here. I'm the only one who earns money. And he would have awakened. The fact that he was able to get his pee-pee nice, warm, and wet during that five weeks may have encouraged him a little bit more. But I honestly believe five weeks away from her lying and gaslighting and forcing him to be on film would have been enough for him to wake up. And Shannon made a poor choice with those five weeks. I don't care that she took the children with her. You have a husband. You made a commitment to your husband. You need to take care of your man. And remember, Ronnie Watts said all Shannon did was hold her phone in her hand and complain that they were not taking care of the children. I mean, Ronnie and Cindy. He did not get the death penalty. On Shoot, this may be a five-parter. Unfortunately, um, I think if you kill that many people or even... I and an eye for an eye is what I think. Um, child predators, you hurt somebody, you kill somebody. Okay, I completely agree. Yep, yep. Um, I, th I think it's wrong, it's degrading, it's nasty, it's revolting. They should not You're be in idiot. prison, um, soaking up resources, food, and all that. I almost guarantee this guy supports the Ukraine war. And for him to take his family out like, like he did grotesque and this man needs to be there's a special the worst part was Bella Bella knew everything that was going on I'd already I've said it and unsubscribe I really don't have empathy for Shannon she murdered her family in a roundabout way for years almost a decade Celeste was too young and I'm not writing off the children I don't think Celeste even knew what was going on. Bella 100% knew what was going on. I've brought this up in the past. It breaks my heart. She didn't get it. When he was taking Celeste up to the oil tank, she did not get out of that truck and run. But I'm 52. You guys all know I'm 52. I don't know that I would have done that and run out into the dark. I mean, it's scary. I have night lights everywhere. I can go anywhere in my house in the middle of the night without turning a light on because, well, I'm not scared of the dark. I don't like dark. So, Bella, obviously I have empathy for Celeste, but Bella is the one who really hurts my heart. And the HE double hockey sticks for him. But with that being I'll said, let's watch there. this video and see what more we can find out with Chris Watts' mer er, mistress. And do you believe, also, what I want you guys to do is comment down below. Do you believe that Nicole K 
Kessinger was involved. Absolutely I not. I 100% believe that she was involved. No. Apparently she's in the witness protection program. Okay, she's not in the witness protection program. She had a baby in the last uh, six to eight months. The federal government, although they're not very honest with us, remember the federal government encouraged us to get vaccines. Um, but no, she is public. She absolutely did not. And so this dude thinks that the government allowed NK to walk free? No. They had enough on Chris. They didn't need NK. Oh my goodness, this is making me angry. I'm sure, look, we're only four minutes in. Moved out of Colorado. She's somewhere else um, starting a new, I don't. Wouldn't you have also moved out of Colorado? She has any kids or anything like that? She I does. Really look it up, but let's look at the Idiot. first before we go any further. So let's take a look. Buddy, welcome back. My name is Annie Elise, and this is 10 to Life. Where we talk all things. Oh, I like her sweater. So if you are brand new Ooh. and I, like it. Out I don't like the hair for the first time, welcome. I hope you enjoy it. And for all of my returning Check it out. Lifers, welcome back and thank you. Was for okay, I have to flush the toilet. Today we are going back to Watts Island. And uh, don't say it. I know before you guys say anything, trust me. I promised myself that I would never go back to Watts Island. I made a vow to myself that Same I would never Watts try. Island gets the views. So new information has surfaced. There are Pretend some things harder. that a lot of you have been requesting that we talk about. You guys have? So we're going back there. And I am making a vow again to myself that this will be the final time we talk about this monster. We should hold but, her on to that. And again, as I mentioned, some new developments, a new video released that maybe you have heard about. And a lot of you guys have I been did not know this that I share my thoughts, so here we are. And it's not about Chris Watts himself, it is about Nicole Kessinger, his mistress. The Many innocent victim. Or seen the latest video that was released of Nicole Kessinger's interview with police. Whereas before we only had audio and some of it was just bits and pieces. Yeah, I heard we now a little bit. To go yeah, this isn't it. true either. It's pretty telling in my opinion. For it was those all who out. Are familiar, not that I think there are many of you who are not familiar with this case. My parents said no. Case, Nicole Kessinger was Chris Watts' mistress. My parents were dead. And many have suspected for years that she did have some sort of a level of involvement in what happened to Chris's wife, Shanann, Cece, Bella, and their unborn son, Nico. Now, Shanann's family has said on various occasions that they, of course, have more information and more than the, know more than the public knows. Absolutely. And they have said that they believe Chris is solely responsible. I assume if you watch me... You are not a Thrive representative, but I would love to know if Shannon's parents are still running her Thrive account. They probably realized that 75% of her business was a scam, but I'm interested to know that. For the murders. Really? I absolutely respect that, and I respect that family and what they have gone exactly. through immensely. My Don't you respect the Watts family? They almost went through worse. Personal opinion is that there are just far too many inconsistencies, mm -hmm. deleted messages, deleted calls, no. deleted search histories. Hey. See, no, 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 no. This is pure misinformation. The, unfortunately, our federal government can get anything they want. You delete it, it's still there. Miss, I love, I do love her sweater. And too many shady coincidences for her not to be involved or have some sort of level of insight as to what was going to happen. So today I'm going to be pointing out key and My guess is this girl didn't read a single message from NK to Chris from Monday to Tuesday afternoon because she's asking questions and she does not understand what's going on. She's not that good. I don't think she's an actress at all. Okay, this is definitely going to be a few parts. I'll try to shut this down about 30 minutes, and I'll make a part two. Instances, blatant lies, and things that really just don't add up between Nicole's police interview and the fact-based discussion.
discovery. I like this. Oh, I'd so love this to see it. Will be fact based with footage of her interview. She's and nice with eyebrows. Also, from the 2,000 pages of discovery. Nice oh, fingernails. I read this? Start to finish. It took me several hours, but it was okay. You didn't read start to finish for several hours, because I am still working on the discovery. And my goodness. I'm 40 hours in. So, no. Liar. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. Look at his face over here. And that's creepy. That's the face he gives when he's angry. Oh, my goodness. That's frightening. Well, I'm go it's not going to be all these conspiracy theories in this video. It's not going to be conspiracy facts. facts. Right. And I want to see facts. Really assess the information yourself and make your determination. Okay, well. Involvement from there, whether she was or wasn't involved. So guys, let's get into it. Okay. Who this girl the hell is that? Rolling up her sleeves. Who is that little blonde girl that Stop she just put up there? Right okay. No On idea. August sixteenth, two thousand eighteen. Nicole gives another interview with police. This took place. Okay, so five she's days reading off a teleprompter, of which Watts is family. fair. To me, she seems extremely frustrated or somewhat annoyed Could at the get line to of it. questioning in this interview. And the fact that she has to really be there at all. She just seems agitated by it. Wouldn't you be also agitated? The man that you're, that you began, began, begun, began a relationship with. And then three weeks in, you find out he lied about his wedding ring. And he's totally still married. But you've had incredible relations. You connect. So if Obviously, you want to believe what this man is saying. It's like this little bimbo in the cute little sweater and the great eyebrows has never been with a man. Well, obviously, well, who knows who she's with. She has a wedding ring on. There's no rainbow on the wedding ring. Behavior and attitude doesn't quite strike me as someone who is distraught or wanting to be overly uh, I, just, I think she seems... Her dad also attended this interview with her. Painfully distraught. He would share his opinion she's or advise adult. her when to share hers or not. So rather than go through the... She's an adult woman who was... Okay, I've said it. 32 or 33, I apologize. When you're that old and your friends are having babies and they've all gotten married and you've been the bridesmaid, you tend to settle. And you also tend to become more easily manipulated. I hear three and a half. It took me a moment to spit that out. Our interview with I you, saw which that. It just takes so long. I'm going to break down the key highlights in which okay. I okay, believe we'll get are to it. because they don't align with Goodness. the evidence from the discovery yeah, I can't and do or it. because of the statement or behavior behind the statement. Uh, your relationship with Chris. Okay. Does that look like, a, look like a woman who's happy or manipulative? No, she looks sick to her stomach. She's also holding her stomach. She's horrified. About Chris and his family and uh, events. This is Kevin her down pastures. here on the left. Nicole said that after meeting Chris in June 2018, she didn't know Shanann's name right away and that she didn't know it for okay, a This while. is going to be not he true. That he did have a significant other. And then he told... Three weeks in, he told her that. ...that those two were in the process of a separation. Did he mention the children's name or his significant other's name? Um, I didn't know his significant other's name for a while. Now, now, this this true, girl's she gonna lie. Didn't know Shanann's name and didn't learn okay, D. A. Rourke already came out and said it was a typo. N. K. Never once Googled Shannon's name, but as I hit play, I almost guarantee you, this little chick right here, she's probably a vegan, loves Biden, will tell you some misinformation. Until well after meeting Chris and starting their affair. Three weeks. How is it possible that she was searching for Shanann and using her specific name in those searches dating much earlier? See, that's what kills me. I think there have been at least, I'm going to say five to seven official notifications by the DA office that said this was a typo. So this little 
bimbo. I don't really shouldn't call her a bimbo, but I, she's a vegan. <laughs> you know, teasing. But no, she believes everything she's told. I can also guarantee you, this little girl in this cute sweater and the great eyebrows has had the vaccine. She believes everything she's told. Because police found that she had been searching Google. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, they already uh, fixed it. And searching Shenan Watts back. If I knew what I were doing, I would insert a, the video right now of work saying this did not happen. In January 2018. Now, originally, there were reports that she was searching Shanann back in 2017 at around the same time that she was searching Chris's name. However, it then was disclosed that it was a typo, but there were proven police search histories Man. that showed that she was searching Not Shanann true. in January of 2018. Untrue. So how can you do that if you didn't learn of her name until over six months later? Completely untrue. Claimed. Nicole then states that she and Chris go on their first date around her birthday to a local park, and this takes place around the end of June. June, early July. Nicole tells police that right before Father's Day, Chris told her that he had kids, which she apparently thought was really cute. And also, he also told her that. He okay, she just completely contradicted herself. Okay, so Father's Day is around June 16th or so. At that point, they've been together. Well, Shannon hadn't even left. So they'd only been together. 10 days. So let's go back and watch this girl completely blatantly lie. Shanann's name and didn't learn of it until well after meeting Sorry. Chris and starting their affair. How is it possible that she was searching for Shanann? You see those earrings she's wearing? When she's 50 years old, her earlobes are going to hang down right there to the bottom of those earrings. And using her specific name in those searches dating much earlier. Because police found that she had been searching Google for Chris Watts uh, uh, uh. as early as August 3rd, 2017, and searching Shanann Watts back in January 2018. Now, originally, there were reports that she was searching Shanann back in 2017 at around the same time that she was searching Chris's name. However, it then was disclosed that it was a typo, but there were proven police search histories that she... Okay, so again, I just said it twice. She completely contradicted herself. She was searching Shanann in Bimbo. January of 2018. So how can you do that? Wait, no, she was not. And I actually took the time to look. There is nothing from January 2018 where NK is searching either one of the Watts. More misinformation. Why do we call it misinformation? It's called lies. Hey, the vaccine will protect you from COVID. Lie. Oh, oh my goodness, I just said the C word. Didn't learn of her name until over six months later, as you're claiming. Nicole then states that she and Chris go on their first date. She's so cute. It kills me that she's just so wrong. ...date around her birthday to a local park, and this takes place around the end of June, early July. Nicole tells police that right before Father's Day, Chris told her that he had kids, which... I actually think it was June 5th. ...he apparently thought was really cute, and also he also told her that he was separated from his wife. But here's what... Okay, so she is... Previously, she said... They started meeting right before, well, July 4th, but now she's talking about they spoke before Father's Day, which is, you know, June 18th or around there. Okay, so this, this chick is contradicting herself on her own words. On Father's Day, which was June 17th in 2018. June 17th, okay. This okay. they went on their first date, Shanann wrote a public tribute on her Facebook to Chris about Father's Day. And we know that Nicole was searching her and watching her Facebook, so she would easily... Okay, I think that's tacky. You don't put your boobies out if you're a happily married woman. And some of you may disagree, but get some class. This ...and know that they in fact... Are we sure Shannon didn't have an OnlyFans page? Or maybe OnlyFans hadn't come up yet. Not separating, negating her claim that she was under the impression that they were mutually divorcing this entire time. So, Of course she was under that impression because that's what he told her. She had zero reason to ever think why, 
what he was saying was a lie. Okay, I'm at 30 minutes. I will try to shut this down and do a, a part two of 14. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this is just full-on garbage. Then becomes frustrated with the officer asking her these questions. And she no, actually talks not. over him, saying that she can't remember details and just becomes frustrated. Uh, she's you know, Nancy Brophy. Like if he ever made any kind of statements that you were like, whoa, that was weird. Um, or why would he say that? Or why did he mention that? Do you understand what I'm, I'm looking no, I, for? I think she looks like a woman who is sick to her stomach that not only did she get naked and intimate with this man, he, he flat out lied to her. Okay, uh, I'm going to finish this and shut this down, post it, and then you'll have a part two soon. I understand. I just feel like some of this happened so long ago that I can't tell you like, okay, that's the very first thing she has said that has made me uncomfortable. So long ago, I mean, it didn't happen more than six weeks ago. Exact words of the exact conversation at the exact time and place. Okay, my my second husband, I was in love with before I met my first husband, and I remember every single word my second husband ever said to me. So. This, this is my first question about NK. But I think she's embarrassed and humiliated. Okay, like, 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 she does look like, like, she looks like, like, annoyed. Like, be annoyed also. Dude, you're not a girl. Let's say six weeks ago he said something that triggered with you last night. Uh, that's what I'd be looking for. Okay. Or something <laughs> triggered. <laughs> really? Sticks and stones can break our bones. Words will never hurt you. If someone is triggered by your words, that's someone you need to stay the hell away from. Because words don't hurt even a little. And if you don't remember where it was or the specific words, that doesn't matter. Just he said something that was off the wall or he said this or he said that that has caused you a moment to pause and you go, I don't know why you said that. Now knowing what you know today. Do you understand where, where I'm going with that? In my opinion there, she doesn't seem to be this deer in the headlights, overly concerned. Like, oh my gosh, that happened? Okay, well, you're not in her position. You don't have any idea what it's like to immediately fall in love with a man and then find out everything he was saying was a lie. So, girl with the great eyebrows and pretty sweater, you have never, ever been in this woman's shoes. She was trying to portray herself as. Then okay. the detective starts to tell Nicole Getting that long. he does have information that he can't share with her, which is normal, especially in these interviews. Yep. They say, we have a lot more information, but we can't tell you that because we don't want to jeopardize the investigation and because they want to know. Okay, I cannot think of a single thing they knew that would jeopardize the investigation. And as this... Pretty little girl with the great sweater and great eyebrows is saying, I yet have not really heard the police say that. Okay, I'm going to shut this down and post it. We'll have a part two here shortly. If you're still watching right now, I'm completely shocked. Make sure you hit like and please hit subscribe. God bless you and oh my goodness, God bless this America.